In this L2 data mapping video, we're gonna go through the process of purchasing data with a credit card. Now, a few very important notes about this. First, it's the same process regardless of which database or application you are using. Second, the pricing you're gonna see here though is not going to be consistent necessarily with what you're used to seeing. Some people have discounts, some people uh, pay additional costs for additional data. So the pricing is for our standard voter file record. The third important point is once you've purchased data inside of L2, it is good and unlocked for one year with updates. So you do not have to repurchase that data until 365 days from the purchase of those data. So now we're gonna go in and actually buy records that we know to be currently unpurchased in the system. So what I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to click on this green shopping cart icon next to my universe. This is the universe I wanna buy. I'm gonna go up to cart. Now it's populating with a little bit of information here. You have both the actual sample universe name, you've got the universe ID, and you have the composition, unpurchased records in 2A. And from here now, it's telling me to enter credit card information. Now I'm gonna blur out this information. I am gonna enter it. You might have seen a credit box appear. I do have a credit on this account specifically because it's an in-house account that I'm using for demonstration purposes. If you don't have a credit though, this is the exact same process you're going to do. I'm gonna enter the credit card number. Again, it's blurred out for privacy protection. And even if you have a credit, by the way, you do have to enter this information um, even though it's not going to charge your card. There we go, the purchase has been made. You can see that it's $0 only because I have a credit on here for my demo account, but this is how it would appear on your end. You also have an invoice automatically emailed to the main contact in your account. If you want this to be your finance department, simply talk to L2 support or your L2 rep and we'll get that set up. And then you have the ability to either download your invoice or have it emailed to a specific address, one at a time please here, uh, in terms of that email address. So you can only put one in at a time. You can't just put comma, new address, new address, new address. You have to do it one at a time. From there, you click on download as well. You could also download the invoice and it will populate here and you can see all of the information uh, about your company and you can see it being paid because it was paid by credit card. And that's how you make a purchase in L2 data mapping.